Tonight, it's the James Madison Dukes taking on the homestanding Oscar Prize. Chad Jackson in for the first time for James Madison, a 6'4 freshman. That's Denzel Bowles, the senior, who averages Denzel over 17 a game. You can bet your tail that Matt specifically went over how to attack that zone. Charles Jenkins, he can do that. Still plenty of time, 12 on the shot clock. Bowles, good look inside for the jam. Andre Semenov. Andre Semenov. Chad Jackson running the point into Semenov, now out to Hitchens. That's a three. It's good for Julius Wells. Four on the shot clock. Four. Finding bowls for the jam. Second and third chances for the Dukes. It's usually not a good formula. Bowles and one. James Madison pouring it up. A 12 0 run. They have taken their largest lead. Hitchens hemmed in by Moore. They've done a great job of being patient. Long three. Good for Julius Wells with the shot clock down to two. You would never want to say that, but no one else is really providing that punch. Wells again. Four three-pointers in the first half for the junior, Julius Wells. The great thing about Greg Jenkins, too, is he doesn't force too many shots. Inside, Greg Washington has a chance for a three-point play. And then Bowles caught it in great position, only about six feet away. The runner goes for Shemaye McClendon, and he'll be shooting a free throw. Turnover is pretty low on both sides. Jenkins. Three ball is good. They'll let Bowles shoot it, and he'll make them pay. You almost feel Kelleher's got to get involved somehow. They need more help than just Charles Jenkins in Washington. Jenkins. Chance for the old school three-point play. JMU just shifted up defense. Is there in a 1-3-1 that just flat out into a 2-3? Jenkins from deep. Three on three. Kelleher, smart play. McClendon open. Got it! That's a three. Zeminoff goes to Bowles. Great deflection right there. McClendon made a great deflection. Jenkins missed it, but it's followed by Mike Moore. One point game. Hits them both. Tied at 79. Obviously, you want to make sure that, that ball comes off. You got plenty of guys in there to rebound. Moore is stripped. Jenkins from half court. And we're going to overtime. Without question, he needs a lot of help right now. Jenkins, again! Now they've shifted to a zone. Still get it to Jenkins. McClendon for three. Got it! Wow! You're talking about a guy that's got tremendous confidence. Double miss layups late for Jenkins, despite the brilliant game. Bolts. Denzel Bowles with a huge shot in the lane. A chance to cut it to one. A lot of times you'll go over this, try to make the first, and then miss the second. You'll have Gomes go set a screen for Bowles and try to get some activity that way. Julius Wells, the 68% free throw shooter, has one more coming. His team down by two. And this is what we would teach. Usually it's the right side that will go set the screen so you get both of these guys moving it on the up opposite sides of the rim. Missed it on purpose. Loose ball. That'll do it. Who was the guy that got the loose ball? It was Charles Jenkins. Hofstra wins it 92 to 90. The students are going nuts. For Jenkins, who came up with a loose ball, scored 35 points tonight. Even when the ball goes inside, George Mason just stays between their man and the basket. What a pass. Great feed. Brinkley missed the first, but stayed right with it. Looks like he got a little messed up and didn't expect the first one, but it came right back to him again. 
Patriots trying to isolate Pearson. You know he's gonna spin back over that right shoulder because he's a lefty, what a play. Test your skill as you move on in life. Oh, I would have caught it and got hit by it, one or the other. Boney well short. Dawson back on the floor and knocks it down. Trying to hook up with Morrison. Misfired there, but Hancock was there. And now Hancock high off the glass and he got it. And shoot, no time for a dribble, but they have a lob play out of bounds right here. And there it is. And Hancock got it. Monte Ross staring down Brian Kersey, the official. I think they may go take a look at it, but I don't think there's any question that that should count. Pounded inside like they did early, or they go to that man or a nice steal. Again, Cornelia shot the gap, and the lead 16. Pearson, another rebound. Delaware still scoreless here in the second half, nearly three minutes in. It's got to be a long it's be a two. Timeout. Hancock helped on the double team, deflected it. Now Williams. They're going to count the basket. So a bad situation, getting worse for Delaware. Mason's getting what they want when they want. Like that. And now's when you have to be disciplined and run your offense because it'll pay dividends later in the season. There you go. DJ Boney with a long three, his first points of the game. Brinkley rebounds for the Blue Hens. It's taken away by Cornelius. Long gets under and somehow manages to get back into position to score. But they just got to hang with it and maybe not even show the guys the tape of this one because, as we've said over and over, not bad shots, just not conversions. Sadler again attacks the basket. His 13th of the ball game. A shot by Santiago. It's a three. Chance for a four-point play. In this long time, he understands how important it is to have your legs. Santiago throws it up for grabs, and Cam Long winds up with it. Doesn't get a whole lot prettier than the play by the senior Cam Long. Last 45 minutes or so, it was a fairly close ball game. In fact, it was a one-point game at the six-minute mark of the first half as Santiago knocks down his second three of the night. After going on a run late in the first half, Vaughn's connects again. So George Mason wins it big, 69-49 over Delaware. Follow all the action of CAA basketball online at caasports.com.